Welcome back to After Effects and You. In this tutorial, I will explain how to create a simple animation using the materials from Lesson 2 in the Adobe After Effects 7.0 training workbook. As you can see, most of the project has already been set up. The Channel 5 logo and background photo, right here, were already loaded into this project using the same steps explained in the previous lesson. If you need to learn how to set up an Adobe After Effects project, then please see Understanding the Workflow on my channel page. The news text was entered by selecting the 5 logo composition here in the project panel and making it into its own composition in the timeline panel right here where using the text tool in the tools panel typed news next to the news logo. I'll just go back to the channel 5 news edit timeline here and select 5 logo because I'm about to add an effect to this logo. Go to the effects menu and select perspective drop shadow. You'll notice that in the effects controls panel it adds the uh, drop shadow effect. Drop shadow is an effect that places a soft edge shadow around an object in order to give it more depth. In this case, the effect has been added to not only the logo, but also the text as well. This will make sure that the logo and the news text stand out against this bright background. Of course, at this point, it's probably better to reduce the shadow a bit. In order to do that, I'll have to change the properties of the drop shadow effect here in the effects panel. I'll just reduce the shadow's distance away from the text. Maybe about there and increase its softness. This will make it less noticeable, but have it appear just enough to define the logo and text. To make it stand out more though, I'll add another effect called Emboss, which can be selected here in the Effects and Presets panel. Just making sure to select the 5 logo layer, and go to Stylize, and navigate down to color and boss. In this case I'll drag it right into the composition panel. Since the five logo layer is selected it'll only add that effect to that layer. The emboss effect which is listed as color emboss will actually sharpen the edges of the news text and logo. Now I'll apply an animation preset to the news text layer to make it slowly appear on screen. In order to do that I'll have to go to the five logo timeline and select the news layer which is already selected for me here. I'll just move the current time indicator here in the time ruler about one second and thirty frames. Right about there. The particular effect I'm going to use is listed as an animation preset. Animation presets are pre-composed effects that can be used in any project and have helped me personally with many of my own video projects, if I ever needed a really good effect that is. The effect I'm looking for will be under animation presets, let's first get rid of the stylize. Way up top here under animation presets, we'll go to the text folder and go to the blur subfolder and here it is the bullet train effect. I'll drag this right over here to the news layer. Okay now you'll probably notice that the news text layer has disappeared from view. It's not really gone. In fact this is actually the beginning of the animation. If I move the current time indicator ahead a bit you'll start to see that the news layer very very slowly comes into view almost as if the words are flashing by like a train. The next step is to add an effect to all three layers in the five logo timeline panel excluding the news text layer. While it may be possible to add the effect to each individual layer this is a time consuming process. To make it easier I'll be combining the three layers here in the five logo timeline panel in a process called pre-composing, which is nesting or combining layers into a single layer. I'll just select the rotated type 
and shift click crop area to select all three and go to layer precompose here in this dialog box I'll name this new composition dissolver and with the move all attributes into the new composition option selected hit OK now the original three layers are now in one composition that I can edit independent from the news text layer now I'll go to animation presets and go under transition dissolves where I'll take the dissolve vapor animation and place it in the dissolver composition here well it seems that all the settings for now will be okay so I'll just leave them as they are now it's finally time to add the last effect to this project I'll just put the current time indicator ahead a couple of seconds and select the logo layer in the channel 5 news edit timeline panel and press T to reveal its opacity property at this point I'm going to click the stopwatch icon to create a keyframe now this little square diamond shape here is known as a keyframe they're used to create and control animation effects audio properties and many other kinds of change that occur over time it marks the point in time where a specific value is placed in order to create noticeable change in time between two keyframes the beginning and ending keyframes must be present by moving the current time indicator ahead and changing the opacity value by either clicking or moving my mouse over it change it to about thirty to fifty percent let's say we'll change it to thirty I've made it so that in between the time of these two keyframes, the opacity or transparency of the logo layer will go from fully visible to partially transparent to make it seem like a television logo on live TV. Let's go back and see how it looks. In order to preview, we'll move the current time indicator here to the beginning. And instead of doing a standard preview, which will take forever, we can try doing a RAM preview. Not bad, huh? Well, that's all for today. Join me in the next lesson, Animating Text on my channel.